Nano Sajin asked, what is your favorite card so far in Witchwood? Uh, my favorite Witchwood card? Hmm. Probably Tess. I just have a ton of fun playing with Tess. Do we just keep Life Drinker against a mage? I think I might. Maybe I should just be mulliganing and trying to find backstab and just like, hoping to later draw Life Drinker. Assuming he's tempo. Ah, hello there. But he's not. Then add Life Drinker for more life gain. That's the primary goal of it, yeah, is to just have more survivability. Well, it would appear that my opponent is a uh, control deck, most likely. Let's go ahead and play this. Yeah, that is a very weird draw for Tempo Rogue. Seems weird. Yep. Hmm. Joke's on you. Hey, eh. lights out. We've cut Let's Deadly. Why did I cut Lich King? Mostly it was just because I was putting in the Vanishes and um, Life Drinker that I wanted to cut down on the additional sort of expensive stuff. Ooh, another Deadly. Alright, well, Spectral Cutlass Cutlass, given these already used... An acolyte. That's a little weird that you're not pinging that. Um, we'll just spectral deadly. What do I put in place of Elise? I think you could play Lich King instead of Elise in this deck. I'm not sure which one is right. Each of them ha is like a, you know, longer game tool. Ooh, oh, my other deadly! Wow. I was not expecting to get skulking guys, dude. That's kind of a kind of a dick move there, man. My hallucinations too. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and play this and kill this guy. Kind of low on steel effects at the moment, unfortunately. This is more expensive, I can't tell. Need a key. Hmm. Well, this is all quite the bummer. Okay. I have a spellbender in my hand now. At least I can play the spellbender and buff my weapon. Justice is mine. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I need to find... Pickpocket's my best card in this kind of matchup. I only have one in my deck right now. I cut the other for the time being, at least. Another Blink Fox. Alright. We know he has a Meteor, so we gotta be aware of that. Breath of Sindragosa. As you wish. Here. We could have, like, attacked both guys in and vanished and gotten another Blink Fox. Vanish, I think, is, like, potentially kind of important against Dragon Color Alana, though maybe it's not even remotely close to good enough. It's kind of a bummer we don't have, like, hallucinations, because they're just so good with Valera. Maybe I should just Valerid that turn, honestly, rather than playing this at all. Just bump, bump, Valerid. That might even just be my best play. Justice is mine. Okay, I'm just gonna play Valera here. Probably should have just played it last turn, like I said. Uh, Herpeter! <laughs> it's quite the name. Thanks for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Much appreciated. <laughs> I've been struck by flame. Yeah, I'm in kind of a bad spot now with none of my... with all my hallucinations gone. Eh, 
We know he's Meteor. We can just get him. This guy's toast. Boop, boop. This guy's toast. Welcome back, Jaina. Yep. We need a pickpocket. Or like, Elise. Eh, maybe hey, I do just vanish out. here. Hey, lights out. Stab this. I think we want a fan fan. Yeah. Always, no matter what, fan fan into. Ah, this guy's toast. Keep my weapon though. Still need to find. If we, could fi if we find like a Lisa Lise, it's just like so strong. Life drinker, life drinker, keep us alive too. I think I will just attack this. Ah, then I have no spectral cutlass though. It's so fine, like at least at least you can attack into one of them. Ping. Eh, maybe that's okay. Still is this anyway. All right, I'm gonna double Elise. Like if he does attack, ping. We always have like backstab double vile spine available. I'm at 31, so I'm not like scared about getting burnt out, especially with life drinker in hand. Yep. Oh. Eh, okay. Yep. Okay. So. We'll backstab this. We can meteor and get a guy off of this, but meteors here pings this. Mm-hmm. I really just need, like, something to turn on my cutlass, and I think I'm actually, like, able to win, honestly. Oh, hello, pickpocket! <gasps> We're going off. Literal infinite pickpockets. By my frozen heart. Um. Oh my god. I'm never I'm getting all non spells. That sucked. I got like a million minions. Right. I don't want to burn a card because I have like packs and stuff in my deck. Wow. What a bummer. I'm not going to burn one because the pack pickpocket goes away. Baron getting. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, this, I do get the Shadow Crit. That's true. Right. Mm. Well, we burned the pack anyway. Well, that sucks. Uh, maybe I did screw that up then. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. I guess I might as well have, if, unless there's something I specifically wanted, to, wanted to reflection. These are so bad. I can't believe this is what I got with, like, a bunch of 
you know, double reduced cost spell stuff going on. Maybe I should have hit this too, so I'd be able to like SI this. I actually do want to like play cards from my hand here. I just want to play like the real Curio guys. Because I want to make room. If I draw like preparation, we can like prep something. Or if you just like, you know, cast a spell in my mana bind, we can mana bind, cast whatever he, he plays, double vile spine. Man, that was such bad pickpockets. Other than, you know, obviously the initial source to print us. Okay, so I'm not frozen if he's attacking there, which is obviously great for me. So he doesn't have any... I could have big minions left, but... Um... Can I just polymorph this? Double SI the water elemental? And save this? And attack the 1-1? One -one? <laughs> and then mana by number 2. So now we have 7 charges on our weapon. He's played one blizzard. Eh, there's a second one, so that means you can make another water elemental, which is annoying. But not disastrous. Syndragusa, okay. We know he has water, or has blizzard, so... Um... What is the best way to handle this? Just vile spine, vile spine? Clear, clear. Yeah, I think we're just vile spining. I'm gonna get all of these off the board, I think. Maybe it's Blizzard Meteor. Eh. Fury for... Okay, well, Furying is fine. He doesn't get Water Elemental, so I'm, I'm totally happy with that. Future side. Okay. Um, we'll kill your Future side. What is my... My Fury is either... I have a pack and a preparation in my deck for spells, right? So you just kill his guy and I can, like, play, like, Doomed Apprentice, Doomed Apprentice. <laughs> My, wait, no, I have the prep. Where'd my prep go? Did I burn my prep? Draw my prep? I burned one of the packs. So I vanish, pack... Oh, I have Tess in my deck. Jeez, I wasn't even... Wow. Okay, I forgot about that. Since we're drawing Goro... Uh, well, we don't actually don't want to draw a card, right? With Black Cat. Alright, we're just going to play Doomed Apprentice, Doomed Apprentice. I actually want to play these... In the middle here? We can't like meteor them effectively either. What can Tessie? What is Tessie even playing? I have like polymorph, <laughs> doomed apprentices. I definitely wait until my opponent has no spells left in deck to test, so he can't dragon's fury my board. Right? I don't want to. I specifically don't want to play the cat because he can blizzard ping it and make a water elemental. That's what I'm avoiding playing the cat for. We have we have no desire to to get the draw off of this because of the fatigue situation. Reality. Okay, Artificer, is he blizzarding? Oh, double Artificer, okay. Oh, he is blizzarding. Okay, that will gain him, amusingly, a bunch of extra life. So there's a 50-50 as to whether Dragon's Fury kills these or does nothing. But that's his second blizzard, so I can now play three health guys... I guess we might as well try this. I, although at the same time, if he has like Dragon Collar Alana, we know his hand is like Polymorph Meteor, or at least those are like in his deck. If he has Dragon Collar Alana, then maybe we actually want to try and wait on this. Maybe it's Life Drinker, Life Drinker. But I also kind of want to make room. Yeah, I'm gonna Life Drinker, Life Drinker, kill the guy. It's awkward that I have a bunch of cards I can't, like, this I can't play, this I can't play. Sunwalker, okay. I 
There's Tess. So Tess doesn't actually draw me any cards, right? But I want to I want to wait in Tess until my opponent has no cards for a second Dragon's Fury. Is that right? It's gonna cast me a bunch of nonsense. Maybe I don't want to wait that long. My opponent still has Meteor in his deck. I'm just doing this. It's still a 50-50 whether we hit. Okay. We clear this, guys. So I do want to play Cat. Cat. Because I want to be able to like potentially just like pack pack too, so. I know that Cat's not going to draw. I'm aware of that. It's just a matter of whether I want to play it. So the scary thing here is the potential for Alana. Some of these decks don't even play Alana. But... Primordial Drake? Ooh. Okay. That's a bummer. That's a major bummer. That's what I have left. I have Prep and Vanish. So do I kill this, and then what do I do? Do I just test? So my last card is Vanish. Oh, I actually want to play test after Vanish, right? Or after I've drawn Vanish. Okay. Oh. This could be a possibility of testing again next turn. Of testing with the elemental next turn. Yeah, I know the is Voodoo Doll, which makes Tarantus pretty attractive. I wish I had something that I could have. Yeah. Okay, well now we draw the Vanish. But now Tess doesn't actually clear his guys. I wish I had a cheap thing to spike Ridge Steed. He has a polymorph left though. We'll just cast the Tarantus. It makes Tess cast Tarantus, but it might not actually work. Maybe he only has one Voodoo Doll, who knows. Eh, nope. Alright, so what does Tess even do now? find out. Mana bind, polymorph, oh my Stormcrow, no Dragon's Fury, oops, Indigosa, we have a 12-12 here, I have no cards to draw, your cards cost one more, alright, yeah, we, we did get the Tarantus, sadly the Plumber hitting my thing was pretty unfortunate, but like he can't, he's already played both Blizzards, He's already played both Voodoo Dolls. The Tarantus represents, obviously, 12 damage. If he plays a Meteor on something, we get a Meteor. Uh-huh. He has to hit me or I just keep gaining life. His, uh... Uh-huh. Are you freezing that? Sure. I think we may win. The time is now. So what does he have? He has a polymorph left. So meteor this. Tech there. So just meteor this guy too. We want the one one gone. Yeah, we'll just meteor this guy too. Or do we just like double nesting rock? We're not vanishing. Why in the world would I vanish? He has no cards for, for Dragon's Fury. This He can't kill this. And we just hit him in the face. And just play Rock Rock. Yeah. And now I have nine charges on my Cutlass. We're both in fatigue. I have a Tarantus in play. He can't keep up with this. This game was truly bizarre. Bad meteor positioning? Yeah, man, if he targets the Tarantus, whew, it's terrible for me. Hey. 
and you're dead. Someday you'll be just like me. And that means dead. <laughs> that game was... I don't know, that was, that was everything that, like, this deck encompasses, you know? Just the total nonsense going on. I had, like, Tarantus, my opponent was killing all my stuff, kept freezing me. Didn't matter! We just pieced it all together and got there. <laughs>